And then each of you will be allowed to, <coughs> uh, summarize your platform or whatever it is you want this uh, audience to remember you by. What qualifies you to represent the district you are seeking to serve? One of the things that qualified me is I've been in the district. And <laughs> secondly, um, being a pastor for, again, for 29 years, uh, the parishioners, the visitors, the citizens that attend my church, I'm already involved, um, just not in the capacity of your city council. Um, and so because I see the day-to-day vicissitudes of life, those issues that happen uh, on a daily basis, when, when, when uh, a single mother can't pay, pay uh, child care and rent uh, until they come to us to, to assist them. When someone can't uh, afford food, they come to us for assistance. And so because I've already been involved in making decisions to help those that are less fortunate, uh, I believe that uh, a part of that qualifies me. No, I've not sat on council. No, I've not seen some of the things that happen uh, on council from day to day. But sitting in my office, I see it every day. Uh, finally, what qualifies me is my ability and my love to help and my compassion to them. Thank you. Even before I was elected to city council, uh, I was the president and the organizer of one of the su most successful nonprofit organizations that have been established within the city. Uh, when we started our organization, we saw that drugs and open out drug market were running rapid in our community. Crime was very high. So we set out to address that. We a group of men and I, we started what we call a soul patrol. And we actually worked in conjunction with law enforcement officers to reduce those problems. From there, we saw that substandard housing was a major problem in our community. So we set out to try to improve housing. And from there, we built, this organization built, a nonprofit started by grassroots people. We built five to seven homes for individuals in our community. Our plan was to uh, develop a whole block. But that's when we fell into the recession. Sadly, <clears throat> during that time I came for me with ordinance and city laws and how those things work, prior to me even being on council, since I have been on council, those skills have been, been developed immensely. I have learned how to work with the other council. That you me always say this working in conjunction with mayor and council is vital. You got to have four votes before you get anything done. You by yourself, you have one vote. But work with the council, you get four votes. That's how you get things done. That's how I've been able to get them done. Work with them getting four votes. Thank you. We're ready now for your two minutes summary statement.